I read a question for everyone. 73% of 500 students surveyed. So like always, we are sensitive to word survey. That means that there is a population from which we are surveying or selecting a sample. Okay, if, if you are hearing me, at least one of you say yes. Yes. Perfect, okay. So the sample size is, what is the sample size? 500 students. Very good. 500. And in the sample, 73% of the students voted in favor. Okay. Uh, in a sample, of 500 people, 73 percent of them were in favor. And uh, of course, we don't know what proportion of all of the people in the population are in favor. So now we want to know what is the best estimate for the proportion of the people who are in favor. Uh, now, in your opinion, what is the best estimate for the proportion of the population? The proportion of the sample. Exactly. For proportion in the population, in the population is 0.73 or 73 percent. Now if somebody asks us are we sure that this is the proportion of the people who are uh, basically in favor in the whole population, the answer is that no, we are not sure. So what should we do? Okay. Confidence interval? Exactly. So we think of the... Do you still see the whiteboard? Yes. Okay. So uh, we have to find out the confidence interval. But if we take all possible samples, let's say another sample and another sample, each one will have a different sample proportion, but we know how all of the sample proportions will be distributed. This is the distribution of all of the sample proportions. And we know that this distribution of all of the sample proportions is a normal distribution. And notice that it is always normal for proportion. And we don't need the help of Mr. Gossett or T distribution in this case. And we know that if we take all these possible samples, the average of all of the sample proportions will be the proportion in the population and the standard deviation of all of the sample proportions will be the proportion in the population multiplied by one minus proportion in the population divided by n. Okay. Now, however, uh, we don't know what is the proportion in the population, but our best estimate for the proportion in the population is the proportion in the sample. So if we use that best estimate, now of course this is not true, this is where we have landed, but we know that proportion in the population is not that far. These sample proportions vary uh, this much, and we know that the population of the proportion is not very far from this. Therefore, if we use that estimate to find the standard deviation of the variations of sample proportion, we have to use 0.73 multiplied by 1 minus 0.73 would be 0.27. And then we have to divide it by the size of the sample, which is 500. So, we know that this is how much we expect the sample proportions to vary. I need your help now. 
So it's 0 0.0198 five so we go one nine nine right uh, yes okay so this is the uh, how much we expect that sample proportions one after the other vary they are not going to vary it's about two percent if you notice now let's go back to the question and see what is the confidence interval that they want. They want 95% confidence. So if we want 95% confidence interval, so we have to go how many standard deviations? So we want to find this range which will cover 95% of all of the possibilities. Unfortunately, we don't have 95% in the normal distribution table. So this half would be 95 divided by two. Uh, and your table in the book gives you this, only half of it from uh, a point to the center. So if this whole thing is supposed to be 95%, then what would be half of it? Point four. I'm waiting. Seven, five. Very good. Okay. So this half would be point four seven five. Now go to normal distribution, search in the areas, and tell me what is this number of standard deviations that we have to go away from the mean uh, such that ninety uh, four four point seven five is the probability of this area. Go to normal distribution and tell me. For 0.475 in normal distribution, what is the Z? 1.9. 1.9. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, 0 0.06. No, cannot no. be that. No. Yeah, you have to search in the areas. Uh, is it 1.96? Yeah, that is correct. So 1.96. If we go 1.96 standard deviations above the mean, this area would be 475. Therefore, for the other area also, we have to go Z equal to minus 1.96. Basically, 1.96 standard deviations less than the mean. And now, we can find out the confidence interval. So we say the upper bound. Sorry, would you please explain how did you find the Z? Okay, for that, I have to open a normal distribution. Hold a second. So anyway, this kind of table just gives us that area that is now in gray at the top of the page uh, between the mean and a point. And we want that area to be uh, 0.475. So we go inside these areas and search for 0.75. So in row, in uh, uh, row 1.8, I have 4641, 4706. So 1.8 is not enough. Now in row 1.9, I have 4719, 4726. We want 475. Five. And 475, now we found that 475, it is in row 19, and the column is 06. So we are lucky because 475 was on the table, um, and we don't need to choose the closest. So this, uh, we have to go. 1.96 standard deviations far from the mean for that gray area at the top of the page to be 475. Okay, thank you. Amir, yes. why don't we use the T like uh, distribution? Because uh, for proportion, we don't need the correction that comes from the Gossett's correction, basically. For because Gossett help us when we have, when we don't have sigma 
to find the, and we are and we are interested in the mean in that case because we are interested in the mean we need the standard deviation of the population we don't have it therefore we need gusset uh, for proportion uh, we are not interested in the mean and we are interested in basically proportion and uh, basically the gusset's theorem which is related to standard deviation around the mean is useless you have to understand that gusset says instead of sigma you can use s to find the mean or estimate the mean and we are not estimating the mean so his theorem so, is so for proportion questions it is always normal distribution yeah what you need to know is that when we are dealing with proportion we don't need gossett's help we were going to write down the upper bound and lower bound of confidence interval so upper bound of confidence interval is the mean 0 0.73 plus 1.96 standard deviations which is 0 0.0199 and the lower bound of confidence interval is 0 0.73 minus 1.96 multiplied by 0 0.199 okay now help me you know, we don't need the to. The first one uh, is zero point seven six nine zero. And the next one is point six nine zero nine nine. So would that be six nine one zero? And you know, as I told you, it's good to be able to write the conclusion. The conclusion is that the 95% confidence interval for proportion of people in the population who are in favor is from 0 0.691 to 0 0.7690. So as I mentioned before, um, the methodology is the same. The only difference is that because we know that it's a proportion question, we have to use the standard deviation of variations of sample proportion. Good? Yes. 